Yechez Ke'el, Ezekiel 5. And you, son of Adam, take you a sharp knife, take you a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon your head and upon your beard. Then take you balances to weigh and divide the hair. You shall burn with fire eth a third part in the midst of the city when the days of the siege are fulfilled. And you shall take a third part and smite about it with a knife. And a third part you shall scatter in the wind. And I will draw out a sword after them. You shall also take thereof a few in number and bind them in your skirts then take of them again and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire for therefore shall a fire come forth into all the house of yashara'el thus says adonai yahuwah this is yerushalayim I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her, and she has changed death my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and death my statutes more than the countries that are round about her, for they have refused my judgments and my statutes. They have not walked in them. Therefore, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, because ye multiplied more than the nations that are round about you and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to eth the judgments of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I, even I, am against you and will execute judgments in the midst of you, in the sight of the nations. And I will do in you, eth, that which I have not done, and whereunto I will not do, eth, any more the like, because of all your abominations." Therefore the fathers shall eat the sons in the midst of you, and the sons shall eat their fathers, and I will execute judgments in you, and the whole remnant of you will I scatter eth into all the winds. Wherefore, as I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, surely because you have defiled eth my sanctuary with all your detestable things, and with all your abominations. Therefore will I also diminish you. Neither shall my eye spare. Neither will I have any pity. A third part of you shall die with the pestilence, and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of you. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about you. And I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Thus shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, Yahuwah, have spoken it in my zeal, when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make you waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about you in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about you, when I shall execute judgments in you in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, Yahuwah, have spoken it.
when I shall send upon them eth the evil arrows of famine, which shall be their, rather, for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave you, and pestilence and blood shall pass through you, and I will bring the sword upon you. I, Yahuwah, have spoken it.